to a good start. We're gonna be able to have that for a branded fusion. But it does look like, like Couch. Couch is going first, which already gives him the advantage. Now, Pot of Prosperity, an insane card in Kashtira. You can banish so many extra deck monsters that you will later be able to put under a Rise Heart to gain some bonus effects. Something like Infinite Track Goliath will be able to protect it from being destroyed by card effects since it is a machine monster. You can also throw things like yeah, Garura underneath it, so if your opponent does send your Rise Heart to the this graveyard somehow, you'll be able to draw a card. And Tiss is another one you can put under as well. So Pot of Prosperity has a lot of extra value upon on top of just being able to dig through your deck to get to you. Unicorn. And since John isn't playing Casteria, Dominic doesn't need to worry about the added vulnerability okay. to Diablosis. You hear John calling out the tech cards he's seeing off this Prosperity of Friends. He says, I see Lance, I see Infinite Permanence. Pressure Planet writes off, hits the field. He gets to search for any Casteria monster and add it to his hand. Off to a great start. He's getting the Unicorn, as is typical. Special summons it and activates its effect. I think we'll probably see him get Kestira Theosis, unless he has it already. Can you double check I don't troll in the finals? Okay. Looks like he's going for Kestira Birth. Mm -hmm. yep. And he's using it to normal summon the Fenrir in his hand, then activating its effect to get a Kestira Rise Heart. So Couch already off to a strong start here. Since he had the Fenrir, he didn't need the Kestira yeah. Theosis. So it makes sense that he got the birth. Oh. Yeah. Overlays for Sangha Ira. Spell summons Rise Heart from the hand. Rise Heart is going to banish Kestira Big Bang while banishing the top three cards of John's deck face down. Then that big, if he does banish uh, Big Bang, he'll be able to detach the material from Shangri Ira and add it to the hand. And then if he chooses to, he gets special summon to the field. But it looks like he's going to go for preparations instead. Uh, lock. So since a card was banished face down, he gets to start to lock a spell in trap card zone. And since a card was banished face down, he can destroy a card in the field. Going to target his own Shangra Ira to protect itself. So he gets to put the Finrir into the graveyard. He is going for the back row to lock down rather than the main monster zones. This is not the first time we've seen that this weekend against a, a uh, branded... Despia deck. Uh, now he's going to use the Kastira Theosis to summon Kastira Ogre. So now he's going to use a Rise Heart to. So the Ogre's going to add the preparation. A Rise Heart. There's the Garura that he banished off the Pot of Prosperity to put underneath the Arise Heart. Very nice. And he gets to add the preparations back to his hand. We see some nice synergy there with the uh, Kastira Theosis and the Arise Heart since the Kastira Theosis gets banished since all cards that would go to the graveyard get banished by a Rise Heart, and then Kashira Theosis' effect activates when it's banished, allowing him to return a card to his hand. Yeah, that's why he banished that preparations. Really smart heads-up play from Couch. We saw him add uh, yeah. Big Bang with the Ogre, so now he has preparations and Big Bang in the hand, and now he's going to summon Kashira Scareclaw to banish the Big Bang he just added to his hand and so he can use the Big Bang's effect. Yep. This is full combo from Couch. So the Big Bang detaches the Unicorn as the hand in special summons. And then the mandatory trigger will put another material under a Rise Heart. We're about to see another rank seven. There's the Diablosis. Birth rings back Fenrir, overlays for another Shanger Ira. He's going oh. to lock out the zones. This is devastating for John. So first, so first, Diablosis will banish a card from the extra deck of Dominic's choosing face down. That will in turn allow him to lock two more zones, one for each Shangri era. And then the Dominic will be allowed uh, to use Diablosis' dragon, second effect to banish cards from the top of John's deck yeah, face down equal to the number of his banished cards, face down uh, banished cards, triggering the, the Shangri era's effect to lock the last two zones. This is definitely a strong combo against the Brandon Despia deck. Gonna banish Rin Brum then, with the uh, Diabolus. One. This is chain link one mandatory. Mm -hmm. uh, chain link two, lock this zone. Chain link three, lock this zone. Chain link four, banish from the top of your deck. <laughs> and here, here goes all his spell and trap card zones. Four more. Can Branded Despia win without playing any spells or traps? If they have Seer Mode in their deck, maybe, but unlikely since you need your normal summon. But yeah, he's going to need some sort of monster to deal with the Shang at least one of the Shangri Iris to unlock some of his zones back. Uh, Channel Q, Shangri Ear Lock, Channel Q, Shangri Lock. Yep. 
Yeah, this is where the decision comes where you want to you want to play cards in your hand that you can use on your opponent's turn. Something like Nibiru the Primal Being is impactful. Even if an impermanence would help this prevent this kind of field right. from happening, but if you don't have anything like that, he has to start his turn. No yeah, spell I and trap card zones. Zone, but I didn't get nib. Yeah, see, <laughs> Kauti even said it. I didn't. If you don't have nib, you're losing your spell and trap card zones. But if you do have nib, it's ridiculous. Like it's really hard to come back from losing your whole board. Yeah. So standby phase. Shinger Ira is going to summon Finrear from the deck. King. My alarm on my phone is going off. John can take a look at his hand. Anything purple or green in it, he can just ignore. Is Fortunately for him, it looks like there's quite a bit of it. Yeah. You can just hold on to my phone for me. Couch doesn't need his phone. He's dueling. So he's going to normal summon a Luber. Hi, Khan. I'm interested to see what he's going to get. I don't think there's anything relevant he can get. Since any spell he takes, he can't activate. Are you looking game one, Cantle? All right, me too. Silverman's probably going to lose. Uh, Fenrir? Yes. Goes for Brandon in red. Fenrir's effect just banishes the uh, over face down. New chains. Chain like one. Chain line two. Locked. Here goes three, the monster zone. <laughs> That's now seven zodes he can't use. That's about to be nine, I think. Will you banish? And I want to see them all. This was on my checklist to see all the zones get locked out. He's closed. Nine, nine, nine. I like that John's letting it happen, too. I want to see yeah. it happen. He could have conceded probably some time ago, but he's like, nah. They yeah, play Gold Sark for whatever that's worth, Alex. <laughs> Just let him know about the interesting text they're using. And then, uh, Red's. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Nine yeah. zones locked out. He has one monster zone, one extra monster zone remaining. They also play Ash Cancel. You hear me? Cancel, you hear me? They also play, a they also play Ash. Yeah, so I would suggest maybe yeah. if you're going into a team YCS, not playing the same decks as your teammates, because giving that information could be pretty key to the help uh, the yeah. other teammates. <laughs> Are you, you going to concede? I won game one. I think that was game. I won game one. Uh, one zone short of seeing them all go, but I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> we almost saw all ten.